A cyber attack is an attack on computers, only that at times it can involve more than the personal computers we have at home, and rather target government electronic systems responsible for vital elements of people's lives, such as their water supply, their electricity, and other imperative infrastructures. We discussed Israel's susceptibility to such attacks with some of the country's cybersecurity experts. Cyber attack is attack against a computer. It may come through the internet or any other net, or through other, any other means of injecting some data into the computer like this uh, USB. You may enslave this computer or steal the data installed in this computer or manipulate it or destroy it. You can imagine for yourself someone uh, crippling the electrical grid or denying satellite capabilities or uh, disrupting the uh, water systems and that could be um, that can cause either uh, damage to the economy or even death. A couple of weeks ago a Syrian organization announced they would target Israeli facilities via the web. They had partial success. There is an organization called the Syrian Electronic Army which announced that they attacked the water supply system of Haifa. When we checked it, we found it's not Haifa at all. It is some water system of one of the kibbutzim. And the attack overall failed, and Haifa was not really threatened. But what is more important here is the announcement. They said that this is only the first step in which they are going to apply now cyber uh, technology in order to attack targets in Israel and destroy them. However, for every successful or partially successful attack on Israel, there are hundreds of thousands of attempted ones a day that fail. Every day there are on average something like 100,000 attacks in certain times like uh, during certain operations of the IDF. Uh, the number even Rises. It's not something unique to Israel. It's true that Israel has more enemies and more attacks perhaps than other countries because of the geostrategical situation here in the Middle East. But it's a problem common to all developed world. I think that all nations that are dependent on computers are susceptible to attacks on the computers. And if those computers are controlling critical processes uh, to daily life, for example, they control the water, the system, uh, the electrical grid, or the, uh, the sewage, then they are susceptible to attacks on those computers. Using computers and the web as mediums for terror is a growing concern for many Western countries. Therefore, Israel is constantly preparing itself for these types of attacks. Cyber attacks is a technological attack and you can build other systems which will identify the attack and block it. We should invest more in technology uh, to detect the attempted attacks and successful attacks. Um, that is being done by analyzing huge amount of data and, and from this data learning which are, the, uh, which are actually attacks and which are just anomalies of the network. Israel is prepared to deal with those attacks. Israel has established the National Information Security Agency in 2002. This agency is responsible for guiding the critical infrastructures on how they should build their infrastructure, the computer infrastructure. And although there are those who uh, were, uh, have attempted to um, attack those infrastructures, they haven't been successful so far. And that is because uh, there is a high awareness and we have high capabilities. And it doesn't mean they will not be successful, but it means that they are uh, they're, that they're ready, yes. Israel's third Cybersecurity International Conference will take place on June 12th in Tel Aviv, dealing with these critical security issues, which at times can pose serious risk to daily life. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.